Welcome. I'm here with Ray Leung, the CFO of Society Pass. Ray, thank you for joining us. How are you? I'm I'm good. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for inviting me. Absolutely. It's a pleasure to have you here, Ray. Tell me a little bit about the company and what it does to get us started here. Uh, Society Pass is um, building the next generation of loyalty and data focused marketing platform in uh, Southeast Asia. This this is where we started out in Vietnam <clears throat> uh, a few years back. Our ecosystem of technology enabled companies synergistically work together to transform how consumers and merchants interact with one another. And uh, it's all about generating customer loyalties and revenues for merchants and the ease of transactions for uh, our consumers. As more merchants and consumers in Southeast Asia register uh, with Society Pass platform, more transactions data are generated. And with, with this data, uh, we, we, give, we provide more opportunities of creating loyalties from consumers to our merchants. Terrific. And then who is your target market? Who are you guys looking to get in front of with this? Uh, our target market basically is, uh, is really the Southeast Asian e-commerce companies, uh, which uh, I, I believe you guys are not uh, unfamiliar with uh, our lifestyle uh, platform in the flair. Uh, and we we are <clears throat> we are moving ahead to to do some further acquisitions in the travel space, digital advertising, which we just announced uh, Thoughtful Media recently, uh, and and our FMB uh, where we have our originator of a uh, hot tap, uh, and uh, handy card push cards. These are all the F. These are all the FMB space that we are in now. Uh, our major markets include Vietnam, uh, Indonesia, Philippines, and Thailand. Uh, Indonesia and Thailand are the two new markets uh, that we, we enter this year. Terrific. Okay, and what is the potential market size? How large of an addressable market do you think this can grow to? Uh, our acquisition targets generally, uh, 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 the size, the revenue size are looking somewhere between 2 to 10 million. And uh, we are also focused on user base and merchants as well. So the three focus for us is always revenue, uh, user base and merchants. Got it. Okay, um, let's talk about competitors and what you're doing differently in the space. How are you guys differentiating the business model that you have from other people? Okay, so so uh, so so far as as what we are called, uh, we we do not have really a direct uh, competitor because uh, we are acquisition focused in uh, many of the business uh, verticals that we have created, and uh, because the fact that we we have uh, we are, we are in Southeast Asia. We are not so so much focused on uh, competing directly with the mega big boys like Grab, uh, Gojet, and 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 uh, Tokopedia and stuff like that in in this region. We are we are creating our own space. Uh, we are building out as what you can see in our acquisitions. We are looking at the smaller targets between anything between two to ten million. We acquire them, we aggregate them, and we build our own verticals, uh, different business verticals uh, in our own ecosystem. Understood. Now, what problem are you looking to solve at Society Pass? What exactly are you guys addressing in the market? Yeah, I I, be, I believe it's, it's a it's a merchant and the uh, the the user base and and the merchants and uh, how how we create the law we how our loyalty program actually helps users and merchants uh, come onto a common platform uh, as what we call it uh, our own SOPA ecosystems because as you understand uh, our business basically we when we acquire. Uh, we actually acquire different verticals as what well I introduced, like we are, we are going to uh, digital media, we are going to travel, we are going to e-commerce and uh, FMBs and deliveries and stuff like that. So we basically create this, uh, we, we create this ecosystem for our user base and merchants so that they can, they can enjoy the fact that they can use our loyalty points and we, we create the loyalty for, for our consumer or user base for our merchants. So they interact with the data. We can, we can address a uh, 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 more the, how say, focus on uh, our target marketing for, for, our, for the purpose of our merchants. Got it. Now, as CFO of Society Pass, what are your main responsibilities in the day to day? As a CFO of NASDAQ listed company, you know. Uh, primary responsibilities are uh, uh, SEC uh, reporting focus, the audits, uh, financial controls of the whole group because uh, we, are get, we, are, we are actually uh, gathering quite a bit of speed on, on, on our M&As. 
So financial control is, is critical to us and the uh, integration of our acquisitions. Uh, I used to have a smaller team, uh, like something like three, three to four percent uh, at the group level. But today uh, we have since grown uh, within a short time span of maybe half a year or more to 15 people at the group level. But uh, at each different countries, we do have our finance, uh, finance team uh, that is addressing to, to the operations and, and the day to day. Understood. Now, what obstacles are you planning on overcoming in the next 12 to 18 months? What sits ahead for the company? <laughs> the, the current capital market is, uh, is very, there is, is, there's a lot of uncertainty for the next 12 months, uh, especially when we can see it, uh, whether is it uh, in US or even in Southeast Asia. It poses as a challenge for companies doing fundraising at the moment. So, so I believe this, this is the biggest challenge for, for any company that is, is in, in, in the current situation where, where if they need to go to the, to the market to do fundraising, it's, it's, it's challenging. Got it. Now to close here, what's a key takeaway that investors should know about Society Pass? Uh, so far strategy, our acquisitions increase our overall revenue, user base and merchants. Uh, we, we focus more on uh, doing, uh, keeping our acquisition targets uh, aligned with us through equity swaps and uh, we conserve cash by, by lowering our cash offers, uh, cash considerations offers to make sure that uh, our funds are reserved for the working, uh, working capital requirement uh, for the expansion of all our business uh, verticals. Outstanding. Reed Leung, CFO of Society Pass. Thank you so much for joining here, sharing more about your responsibilities as CFO and also the plans for the company moving forward. So uh, I, I believe we are continuing to, to look, for, look for targets at the moment. And uh, uh, we are doing a lot of due diligence uh, on, on all these targets to ensure that we are, we are buying the right thing and uh, we're integrating the right thing. And importantly, paying the right amount for our acquisitions. Uh, and uh, at, as a group CFO, obviously this this uh these responsibilities are, are on me, uh, and the CEO to to focus on on uh, getting every deal right. Terrific, Ray. It was all great information. Thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you very much.